A group of immigrant workers gathered at the Baltimore offices of CASA, a Maryland-based immigration advocacy group, where they mourned the lives lost in the bridge collapse. This comes as a crane that can lift a thousand tons, described as one of the largest on the eastern seaboard, arrived near the site of a collapsed highway bridge as crews prepared to begin clearing wreckage that is hindering the sight of four workers missing and presumed dead. And I've been informed by the U.S. Navy that they are supplying us with four heavy lift cranes. Two have already arrived. One arrives tonight and the fourth is arriving on Monday. One of the cranes is called the Chesapeake 1000 and it can lift about 1000 tons. But the big part and one of the challenges is that the key bridge, which sits on top of the vessel right now, that that weight is somewhere between three and 4,000 tons. So our team needs to cut that truss into sections in a safe, in a responsible and in an efficient way before it can lift those pieces out of the water. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says that forensic operations technicians assisted in analyzing data that was acquired from the Corps of Engineers survey boat, the Cutlet, in the Baltimore Harbor. The Corps says that crew members used sonar equipment to determine the location of debris and search for submerged vehicles from the glass Francis Scott Key Bridge. At this time, there is no indication of active releases from the vessel nor of the presence of materials that are hazardous to human health in the water. However, monitoring is ongoing and we will work through the unified command to report and review and be transparent of any results from this monitoring as they become available. According to Moore, equipment on hand will include seven floating cranes, 10 tugboats, nine barges, eight salvage vessels and five Coast Guard boats. Within hours of Moore's request for emergency funds, the U.S. government had awarded Maryland $60 million to clear debris and begin rebuilding the bridge. Meanwhile, new dash cam camera footage was released, which captured moments before a cargo ship crashed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. The images showed how the vehicles were stopped from passing over the bridge just minutes before the accident. Baltimore's Thrumming Port has long been an economic engine that provides thousands of jobs for Maryland residents, even as other local businesses have shattered and industrial production has declined. For all the latest news, download the Wii on app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.